We're going behind the scenes on Selena Gomez's flare cover shoot today, but first, we've learned Caitlyn Jenner won't be charged with manslaughter after a fatal car crash in California earlier this year. Prosecutors have decided not to file vehicular manslaughter charges against Jenner after the Malibu car crash that left a woman dead. It happened in February when the 65-year-old Jenner rear-ended a car on the Pacific Coast Highway, pushing it into oncoming traffic. Authorities found Jenner was not speeding at the time and said it could not be proven that Jenner's conduct was, quote, unreasonable, so the case was rejected. Three more women have just accused Bill Cosby of sexually inappropriate behavior and assault, which they claim happened decades ago. This comes just a week before the comedian is scheduled to give sworn deposition in a separate lawsuit. Celebrity lawyer Gloria Allred says she is opposing Cosby's motion to restrict public release of that deposition happening October 9th. More than 50 women have come forward accusing Cosby of sexual misconduct. His lawyers have denied any wrongdoing. Matt Damon says there's nobody more misunderstood than Ben Affleck. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Damon opens up about his longtime pal, saying the misperception of Affleck really grew after his high-profile relationship with Jennifer Lopez. Turn around, guys. Turn around. Damon says, quote, it was like he was being cast in a role that he was a talentless kind of meathead. He just got cast as this person that he wasn't. Damon went on to say that it was, quote, painful being Affleck's friend during the Benefer phase when he saw the actor being unfairly typecast. Coming up tomorrow on Entertainment City, our chat with Damon and his Martian co-stars about the intergalactic adventure. It must be loved. Sandra Bullock's new beau, photographer Brian Randall, has moved into the actress's Beverly Hills home. The couple has been dating for less than a year. They reportedly met when Bullock needed to snap some photos of her son's birthday party in January. And the rest is, as they say, history. Apparently, Bullock even brought Randall as her date to Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau's super secret backyard nuptials in August. And speaking of that A-list couple, Thoreau is opening up about life as a newlywed to Hello Canada. He is so happy. He said he missed out on the fun of talking to people about the wedding plans because they were keeping it secret. But at the end of the day, what mattered most to him was just really saying those vows. Get the full story in this week's issue on newsstands and in your next issue app today. She's about to release her second solo album, but that's not all Selena Gomez has going on right now. She's also Flair's newest cover girl. Hi guys, it's Selena Gomez. Welcome to my Flair cover shoot. My favorite part, oh my gosh, besides everybody, because it's been so fun, I would have to say the clothes. And the star gave us some intimate insight into her life as one of Hollywood's It Girls. What makes me feel beautiful is when I get to strip down all of my performance stuff and be at home. What makes me feel strong is standing up for myself. Get the full scoop from Selena at Flair.com or in the latest issue of Flair on Next Issue today and on newsstands October 12th. We're cool for the summer. And coming up tomorrow, see highlights from our intimate interview with Demi Lovato, who's visiting our Entertainment City Toronto headquarters today. Remember to get your entertainment news here first in the morning on BT and anytime on Twitter at NCity.